there's not a lot going on down here. I mean, this is, you know, usually you have some thunderstorms somewhere down in the south. Nope. We're, we're dry basically from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And for us here, you've noticed these little patches of high clouds streaming through from time to time. Here's another patch coming through this evening. Nothing to worry about. It just really does nothing more than make for a very pretty sky. So on the computer model, you can see these patches of high clouds moving through, and then it clears out, and then you have another patch that comes through. This is 8 o'clock Wednesday morning, and then in the afternoon, we become mostly sunny for a while. But then by late afternoon, we're going to start to see an increase in cloud cover. I think we're okay for the early evening hours Wednesday. There might be a sprinkle or a stray shower, but I think the better chance will actually come late at night between maybe 3 and 7 a.m. where we'll have a line of showers, perhaps even a thunderstorm in there. Not severe, just a regular thunderstorm come through the area. And then behind that, a bit of a dry slot. We potentially could even get some breaks of sun for a while Thursday morning, but then we're going to cloud up again ahead of this cold front and a few more scattered showers are possible in the afternoon. I don't think we'll see thunderstorms with the front, just some scattered showers, and that's the front edge of the cool air. Our wind is going to shift from a southwest direction to more of a northwest direction, and that's going to bring in the cooler air that will be here through the upcoming weekend. So for tonight, not as cold as last night at Metro. The low this morning was 43. Tomorrow we're going to be 48 or so for a low. And again, mainly clear skies with just some of those high, thin cirrus clouds from time to time. And then tomorrow, lots of sun again late in the day. We could start to see some increase in cloud cover, but it is going to be a fantastic day and we're going to have highs once again in the low to mid 70s. Going to the Pistons game, the home opener tomorrow night should be dry, generally dry, maybe a sprinkle at the end of the game, but generally dry to and from the car. Temps falling through the 60s and then Thursday 60s with again more clouds and uh, and, and the showers. And then Friday through the weekend 50s. Chance for a shower Saturday is not a big chance, but we have a chance and then we warm back up again middle of next week back in the mid to upper 60s.